Hello, today let us see a small part or a subsection of logical reasoning or say analytical reasoning. This topic is called coding decoding. If you go by the textbook definition of coding, it is a method of transmitting a message from one place to the other. Whereas decoding is the ability to decipher a certain code. The coding and decoding test is set up to judge the candidate's ability to decipher the rule that codes a particular word or a message and break the code to decipher the message. There are certain ways of coding, decoding which we will see through the examples. There are some common coding algorithms which can be listed as forward order of letters, reverse order of letters and sometimes opposite coding of letters. When I say forward order, I mean A is coded as 1, B is coded as 2 and as we move further O as 15 or X as 24, Y as 25 and Z as 26. If you look at the other one which is reverse order of letters, A is given the number 26, B is given 25 and so we move on and we get X as 3, Y as 2 and Z as 1. The third algorithm was that of opposite letters. When I say opposite letters, A will be coded as Z, that is a proper mirror reflection. So A as a Z, B as a Y, C as an X, D as a W and so on. These are the common coding algorithms. Sometimes, you know, there is a something that we want to bookmark for our minds is E, J, O, T, Y, which is 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. E, J, O, T, Y. Sometimes kids just remember these codes so that the answering of these questions become easier. Amongst the variations that are found in the questions, the first one is coding. What do we mean when we say coding? Let us look at an example. In a certain example that you can see on the screen, that is the word mystify is coded as N Z T U J G Z. That is okay. The question is how is nemesis coded in the same language? To find out what is nemesis, we will need to go back and find the code in which the coding for mystify has been done. A careful observation says that M is coded as N, Y is coded as Z, S is coded as T. So each of the alphabets is being moved by 1 in the forward direction. So if I say M, I will have to write the next alphabet that is N. Going by that, a nemesis will be coded this way and N will be coded as O. E as F, M as N and so on. If we continue with the coding, we will get the answer as option B which is given which is O, F, N, F, T, J, T that is for nemesis. Another example where probably a slightly complicated code is used is that in the second question where Sikkim is coded as T, H, L, J, J, L. Now the point here is that i is getting repeated twice, k is repeating twice but the same codes are not persistent. So here we have to go ahead and find something else. The question is how is training coded in the same code, it is ok, we will come back to that. Deciphering the code, if we talk about Sikkim, for s it is given as t, it is the next one, ok. For i it is, it is coded as h which is the previous one. For k, it is given as L, that is the first k. For the second k, it is coded as J, which is the previous one. There is a nice little pattern that we see here, is that the first alphabet, we are getting the next one. Second alphabet, we are getting the previous one. So every odd alphabet, we want the next one. And every even alphabet, we want the previous one. Okay, nice. Now we move on to the question. The question is training. Continuing the code that we just about deciphered. T will be coded as U, R as Q, A as B, I as H and so on. So if you consider training, the output that we want is U, Q, B, H, O, H, O, F which is option B in the question that is given to us. These two were examples of coding where a particular word was coded in a certain way. If we move into decoding, here we have to find out the word by analyzing the given code. If for example, 
in a certain language carom c a r r o m is given as b z q q n l that's okay now the question is which word will be coded as house so that means i have to work backwards so i have to find out or rather fix my thought on house and find what the word is here also the first step is obviously understanding the code between carom and the word here we see that for a c it is b for a a it is z for r it is q other r also it is q so it is something safe here here we can see that the previous alphabets are used so similarly if i have to find out for a house h o u s e i have to go one step back so for a h it will be i for a o it will be p for a u it will be v and so on so house will be coded as i p v t f here is the first option and this is an example of decoding we'll take another example in the same case if we say n e o m a n new man is coded as o g r q f t then the question follows but that's okay let's try and decipher the code here if we talk about new man n is coded as o the first letter is one place ahead okay e is coded as g also it is two places ahead o is coded as r that is three places and so on so now we know that the first one first alphabet is one step ahead second one is two third one is three and so on if given this my question is which one will be coded as z k c l u and p so what do i have to do in the first alphabet pick up z find one less than that so that will be y okay pick up k and pick up two less than that so that will be i and so on so i'll get y i z h p j and that is option number c so we've just about seen coding and decoding but till now whatever we have played with is only alphabets if we move on to number coding let's find an example if i say paint is coded as 74128 a paint is coded as 74128 and excel is coded as 93596 then how do we code accept we'll come to how to code accept but let's understand the code here when we see paint and e x c e l we see the code as 74128 and 93596 all we have to do is fetch the code so a is 4 c is 5 it's a very sincere military but a simple question go ahead with that accept will take the code of 455978 which is the first option here and this is a very simple example of number coding if at all there is some kind of a trick which needs to be put in here we'll consider the second example if d equals to 4 and cover c o v e r is equal to 63 there ought to be some logic here let's figure it out if d is equal to 4 is very sample indicative of the fact that they are trying to code the number which is corresponding to the alphabet so when we talk about the word cover c is the third o is the 15th v is 22nd we go on and we find out that the addition of all the five numbers representing this alphabet of the word is totaling up to 63 now we come to the question then what is basis written as okay basis we can just go ahead find the corresponding numbers b is 2 a is 1 s is 19 i is 1 i is 9 and when we add a basis together the number adds up to 50 which is option number b in this particular question we've seen coding decoding number coding a very funny easy one is mixed letter coding in this type of question three or four complete messages are given in the coded language and the code for a particular word is asked okay. to analyze such codes any two messages bearing a common word are picked up the common code word will mean that word proceeding similarly by picking up all possible combinations of two the entire message can be analyzed the first example if 
some funny four words that is NSO, PTR, KLI and CHN stands for Sharma Gets Marriage Gift. Another one is PTR, LNM, WOP, CHN stands for Wife Gives Marriage Gift. Third such one is TTI, WOP, NHI stands for He Gives Nothing. What would the word gives mean? See here we see that the second and the third set of words have the common word gives. And the common word in the code word is WOP. So that means WOP means gives. A very simple problem. If you haven't seen such problems, you'll still crack it just that for the comfort level, practicing a couple of them is no harm at all. As far as coding decode is concerned, a simple standard procedure of solving questions is observing the code, finding the code and then looking out for the options. Best of luck and happy practicing.